What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. Today I wanted to talk about the Royal Bass Challenge Mode for the Leviathan Raid. And I do realize I'm a bit late on this, but to be honest, after completing this on day one of the challenge being active, I felt like the strategy that we used was a bit sloppy. It worked, but it required a lot of luck and was prone to failure if things didn't go exactly our way. So yesterday when the PC Raid was released, we took another look at the encounter and came up with a pretty key strategy that I think really was instrumental to getting the challenge done with minimal fuss. I do think that the strategy may be refined further in the future, and we'll update the notes on this video in the future if I have more to add. If you aren't familiar with the challenge mode for this encounter, it pretty much works the same as the normal encounter with one key difference. You still need one person standing on each of the four plates located at the corners of the bathhouse to make the chain in front of each plate descend and lock into place. Each player must have a psionic protection to stay on the plate, which means they will periodically have to leave the plate to refresh the protection by running to the sensor plate in the middle of the map picking up the protection and then running back to a chain plate. After all four chains are locked into place, all players run to the middle plate to do damage to the sensors that drop from the ceiling. In normal mode, we have two teams with three people on each team rotating between standing on the chain plates and refreshing the psionic protection in the sensor room to relieve someone outside whose protection is running out. In challenge mode though, one person always needs to be standing in the pool inside the sensor room, which means that while you can have one member of your fire team floating around the map and relieving people standing on plates, let's call them squatters, who need to refresh their psionic protection, somebody, and probably multiple people at certain times, will need to leave a plate unattended to go to the sensor room, refresh their protection, and return to their own plate having lost some progress on their chain. Which is fine and it works, but it can feel a bit sloppy and create a situation where one chain is not quite as low as others. Meaning plate one, two, and three are locked in, but plate four is at about 75%. While waiting for plate four to unlock, Plates one, two, and three run out of protection and they need to run to the sensor room to refresh and then they lose progress on their plate. So here's the key, communication. Once all four plates reach around 50%, it's time for plate squatters to start shouting out where your chain is to your one free fire team member. If any one plate starts to fall behind, your floater can stand on that plate while the squatter refreshes his psionic protection. When my fire team has run into issues with this challenge, it was often because we were more focused on bathers than the psionic protection and chain progress. And the bathers are a pain, but each plate squatter needs to figure out a way to handle them or it can really throw off the timing for the challenge. If the floater is concerned with assisting a squatter fight a bather, then the floater is not free to stand on a plate and allow a squatter to refresh their protection. So communicate and kill your bather. If your chain is falling behind the others, you need to tell your floater. Finally, and this is the key to the whole strap, once everybody is within 10% of locking their chain, Every squatter needs to go and refresh their protection. This allows each squatter to have enough protection to lock all of the plates at the same time. So let's say two of the plates are locked, one is about 5% and one is about 10%. Everybody needs to run to the middle, get their psionic protection, refresh it, and then go back to their plate so they have the full length of the psionic protection so that the all four of the chains can lock into place. That way you don't come into a point where, you know, three people have it locked in, one person has got 2% left, but you know, one person is dying because he's waiting for that 2% on the other side of the map to finish off. So at 10%, make sure that everybody goes and gets a brand new psionic protection. So to summarize, 
Squatters, kill your bailers. That's it. You just gotta you gotta figure it out. Kill your bailers. <laughs> Floaters, assist the squatter whose chain is falling behind. Call out chain completion rates so the floater knows who needs assistance. And when the last chain is about 10% complete, all squatters run to the middle, refresh their psionic protection, then return to the plates and lock them in. And when you are doing that last run to refresh your psionic protection, be smart about it. Don't all run into the middle at the same time and have, you know, one person waiting for three others to refresh theirs. You know, call it out. I'm going first, I'm going second, I'm going third, I'm going fourth. Let people know when you're going, but do it at generally the same time. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope this helps everybody get the challenge mode done. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.